All right, Matt, fourth fight on our main card, UFC Boston, coming at us this Friday from TD Garden. And listen, you know the players here. I mean, Ben Sassoli taking on Greg Hardy. And for Sassoli, he's making his UFC debut. He was featured on season 28 of the Ultimate Fighter Heavyweights, and he lost the, his first fight on there by decision to Juan Espino, who ended up winning the entire season. This is a tough test for him. I mean, listen, we just missed, or we just had, rather, UFC 243 from Melbourne. So he missed his opportunity there, but he's taken on a surging fighter. We've watched a fair amount of fight tape from Sassoli just to get into this one. I mean, both of these guys, they're fast starters. Nine of 12 of their wins have come by first round finish, which is insane. Yeah, Greg Hardy's got uh, five of those. But still, you know the narrative about Greg Hardy. Sassoli's the type of guy that, yeah, I mean, trains with some decent guys like Jimmy Crute and Dan Kelly. But what can you tell us about this matchup? Uh, ben Sassoli's hittable, and that's not an attribute that you want if you're fighting Greg Hardy. That's like I tell you about this matchup. Greg Hardy, no matter what you feel about him personally, I feel like we kind of, at this point, have to kind of look past that because now he is an MMA fighter. And he's done quite well in the UFC, other than that illegal knee. Uh, he hits very hard. He's off to a fast start. He's an extremely well-developed athlete. There's not a lot of people as athletic as he is in the UFC's heavyweight division. Uh, you know, there's guys like Stipe and whatnot, but they're, they're kind of the cream of the crop. The only thing that worries me, though, is we've never really seen Greg Hardy in all that much trouble. And the one time that we did, he didn't really respond to it all that well. His cardio is not great, uh, for MMA at least. And it's going to be an interesting fight. I do think Greg Hardy's going to win this. Don't get me wrong. I don't want him to, but I think he's going to. But Ben Sassoli should be able to offer at least a few questions that we haven't seen answered from Hardy. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of fans out there really rallied around Juan Adams when he took on Greg Hardy in that last fight. And the first thing that Juan Adams did was shoot in for a takedown and automatically totally stuffed yeah, by Hardy. And it was a hammer fist finish. So, listen, we understand it. I mean, all eight of Hardy's pro and amateur wins have been by first round TKO or KO. And in this one, Hardy a minus 275 favorite. Ben Sassoli, the underdog, plus 225. I'm going to ride with those odds. I'm going to go with Greg Hardy here. Maybe it's not what you want to hear, but it's he's gonna the win. most likely outcome. And yeah, if you go back and you watch a lot of Sassoli fights, he's susceptible to getting hit. He's also one of those guys that's like the heavyweight of 2007 where he wears all of his weight and it's just not going to go well for him. So we're both going with Hardy here. Fight Night Picks, two-minute predictions for UFC Boston here on YouTube. Let's get into it.